Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Diecast Emporium. In this video we're going to be taking a look featuring an unboxing and review of the brand new for 2022 Diecast Master Timeline Series Caterpillar G36 16 gas compression engine in 1 25th scale. This model is very large, obviously the dead giveaway should be the larger scale of 1 25th. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get straight into the unboxing. You can see that it takes up nearly the entire unboxing and review area. You open up one side, and the first thing you are greeted with is a 2022 edition of the Diecast Masters cat catalog. Again, I always encourage everyone to hang on to these things. You can keep up with all of the new and upcoming releases, as well as everything that has come out already from Diecast Masters. Next, we're going to pull out two styrofoam formers which protect the model and the model's box interesting to note here that the top piece of styrofoam also acts as the top of the model's box so here you can see the top of the tin so here's our item number 85706 125th scale cat g36 16 gas compression engine collectible die cast scale model replica so you will have to do some crafty cutting because it is taped all the way around. You can see that all the way around the box. I have already done that to save us a bit of time. So we're going to lift the top off. There you go. So you can see that the top portion is the top of the box or the metal tin. Once you have done that, you can see that you are ever that much closer to seeing the model. And here is the model inside the tin. So let's go ahead and take that out of the styrofoam. And there we go. Just have to ease it out a little by little on each corner until she eventually gives up and comes out. So, now we can get a proper look at the tin. You see it here. 85706. We've already gone over that. That is the item number. There is a picture of it. 125th scale and the cat logo. Diecast Masters logo and Highline Series on this side. And the back of the tin shows us the engine as well as some operation Machine dimensions, operational specifications, and engine detail. If you would like to read that, feel free to do that now. I will pause the video with that in frame. So you guys can go ahead and read that if you'd like to. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the engine out of the tin now. There we go. That's the top piece of the former. Be careful what you grab onto. Obviously, this is a predominantly die-cast piece, but there are some small fragile plastic detail pieces so of course you don't want to break anything off once you've got the engine out of the tin there are no other pieces that need to be assembled onto the model so you are ready to display it all right before we take a closer look at this allow me just to read you a little bit of information that i found on the real engine the CAT G3616 engine provides a wide range of power options bringing the highest uptime in the industry and long operating intervals between overhaul. Operators that use the G3616 engines in their fleet enjoy virtually no unscheduled downtime, the right power for their application, the lowest operating cost, and emissions compliance. Ideal applications for the G36 the G3616 engines include centralized gathering stations, gas processing transmissions, and storage applications. Okay. If you're wondering just how large this is, allow me to provide you with some measurements, of course, in inches. So it's 9 inches by 5 and an eighth by 4 and 3 eighths inches. Those are, the those are the measurements in case you want to put this in your display case or perhaps on your desk at work. This model is available now. This is out at your favorite authorized Diecast Masters dealer or perhaps maybe even in your cat dealership in the parts department so this model features no working parts it is a static model so nothing functions on here but that's okay 
because the high level of detail on here is really the selling point of this piece. It is really just meant to be put on a desk and admired for the details on this. Uh, this engine in the real world is a 16-cylinder engine, and you can kind of see that almost here. Obviously, these aren't really the cylinders, but you have 8 on this side and 8 on the other side. The cylinders are under this black plastic cover. Um, but there is a nice collection of different pieces um, that have really, even though most everything is in cat yellow, if you look closely, uh, everything is really done quite well and to scale. Here's your Cat Modern Hex logo here. You have a small warning label here. Graphic. I, I really can't say enough about it. It looks particularly good, especially when you have it in person and you're able to plop it on your desk at work or even in your display case. There is a Cat oil filter right here that looks pretty good with some graphics on it as well. Again, another Cat logo here. It's just an impressive piece to look at. Another thing I would recommend this model for, for those followers of mine that are big into model trains, this would be perfect as a flat car load, or even sitting by itself, maybe in a, in a railroad load or a transfer station, on a G-scale model railroad. Obviously, this is far, far too large uh, for O-gauge or even HO scale, but definitely if you have a G-scale, um, that would be perfect for this particular model. So that will wrap up my review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar G3616 gas compression engine. To be technical, this is the A4 version of the G3616. It really does look excellent in person. You can see just all of the details, no matter which side or angle you look at this thing. It is very impressive. Uh, as I've mentioned before during this review, this is something that you can pick up and add to your collection today. This is not something that's coming out in the future. And uh, it does retail for around $170 US as of the time that I am filming this video. So reasonable value for a decent looking model. You just need to be aware of, of course, that this was never intended to be a functional piece. It is just meant to represent CAT's 16 cylinder engine. As always, I am Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. We've got a lot of great reviews coming up here in the next couple months, so I encourage you, again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below. Also, take a look at your screen right now. If you enjoyed this review or found it helpful at all, Check out the couple links that I have provided that you are seeing right now. One will be a review similar to this, and another will be a playlist of cat equipment. So again, if you liked this video, go ahead and check out those. Until next time, take care, be well. I will see you in the next review.